Hey everybody, Dan Cavallari with The Practical Still, and I'm here to open a bottle. This one's an interesting one today. Um, you know, we drink a lot of whiskey here on The Practical Still, and boy, do we like to talk about it. Well, some people were listening, and they said, hey, you might like this whiskey. Uh, my dad is one of the, the distillers, uh, so this guy sent me this bottle as a friend of mine. Uh, this is called Quarter Cask Ancient Grains. This is out of Canada. Uh, so let's see. The basic specs here is 45% alcohol by volume, small batch. Um, and this is it's uh, Vancouver Island by Divine Spirits. That's the name of the distillery. And they also do wine. Um, so it, it's an interesting, this is an interesting one. You know, usually um, what we get is from dedicated distillers. And so uh, this, this should be a good one to, to check out. And this one also has sort of an interesting uh, recipe to it. Um, and it's, I'll just read it to you. It says, we distilled organic BC barley, uh, spelt, emmer, Khorasan and Einkorn. I have no idea if I pronounced those correctly or not. <laughs> uh, but they're all the ancestors of modern grains into one of the most unique and flavorful whiskeys you'll ever taste. Uh, so let's, let's see if they're right. Uh, let's see if this is one of the most uh, unique and flavorful whiskeys I'll ever taste. Uh, let me open this here. Uh, it's got a little plastic funness here. It's got a little neat stamped uh, aluminum on top with a D for, I assume, for divine. Um, it's got a synthetic cork here. Uh-oh. <laughs> Let's see. All right. Sorry, I put my nose right in there. So don't, don't drink out of this bottle because I literally just put my nose inside it. Not much of a nose in the bottle, but that may change once it gets in a glass, which... Often it does with a lot of these uh, whiskeys, so don't knock it too much for that. Cool artwork, by the way. I really do like the label. Neat, neat, neat line drawings here. So pretty interesting stuff. I love the bottle. All right, let's see how this baby smells in the glass. Okay, not a big nose. Getting a little bit of a little bit of oak. Something sweet. I'm not sure what that is. Um, color's nice. It's nice amber brown, light, you know, not as dark as some of the other bourbons. It actually kind of, it's interesting, in the, in the bottle here it looks really dark, here it looks a little bit less so, but it's, it's quite a nice caramel color. I like it. Yeah, let's see how this bad boy tastes. So the nose is not super overwhelming. I can't really get much from it. Okay. A lot of oak. ton of oak. Very, very oak. <laughs> Quick finish. I don't know how, I mean, I don't want to, I always say when I get this flavor of like grape or some sort of sweetness, I tend to think of uh, grappa, which is an Italian uh, spirit distilled from, from grape um, skins and, and, and um, seeds and all that. And, and I, I always identify that with young whiskey. I don't know, this isn't age stated here, um, but I would guess that this is fairly young, but it's not, it's not an overwhelmingly like, um, you, know, you, you try some of these small distillers and you can immediately notice that it's, it's just too young. It needs more time, it needs more um, patience, you know, and they can't do that because they need to, you know, they need to sell something. Um, this doesn't have that, you know, we rushed it into the, the bottle flavor, but you can tell it's, it's, it could probably benefit from, from some more maturing time. Um, yeah, I would say as, as whiskeys, younger whiskeys go, I mean, there's a ton of oak in this and that, I guess you could knock it for that. I like the oak flavor. I mean, that's good. Um, the finish, it, it disappears uh, pretty quickly. But like I said, as far as a younger whiskey goes, um, this feels pretty smooth, actually. Uh, it doesn't burn. Uh, you know, like I said, it's only at uh, 90 proof here. Um, so there's no big burn, which is nice because then you're left with the flavors. Now, the, the primary flavor is oak, so if you're into that, you're in luck. <laughs> um, but there's not much more complexity beyond that. There's a little bit of a sweetness across the tongue. The finish is quick. Um, I have a feeling that this one is going to be better the longer this bottle is open. Um, and I think 
uh, Divine seems to have a good product that's going to be really great, I think, if they can spend a little bit more time inside the barrel. So let's see how this one opens up over time. Uh, I'll get back. I'll do a back to the bottle on this one after I've spent more time with the bottle. My initial impressions are that there's, a little, there's just a ton of oak. Um, it's a good, smooth uh, drinker, and uh, the finish is really quick, but there's not a lot of alcohol burn, so this is pretty pleasant uh, for what I suspect is a pretty young whiskey. Uh, so hopefully that helped. If you guys have had this one, I'd love to hear from you um, what you think of it and, and how long you had it open and how it changed over time. But I'm going to open this one again uh, and, and sip on it for a while and do a back to the bottle so that you guys can uh, hear my impressions over time. Cheers.